Hey guys, Abby here. It is review time. This is going to be a overview, um, quick review on all of the e.l.f. products that I just bought or stuff that I haven't reviewed yet. Some of the stuff that I have, I have reviewed in previous videos, so yada yada yada. I'm not going to do it again. Getting right into it because there's so much stuff and I want to cover some points. I do have notes, um, so I would stay organized and I could do this video quicker. So if I'm looking down, I apologize. But did all this in a matter of a few days going over and taking my notes so getting into it come on Abby let's go um the first I'm just gonna do it because I don't have notes on this one um is the studio complete coverage concealer palette it says four shades um I mostly use these two shades right here it has a big mirror at the top I'm sorry if I keep blinding you are these two shades right here very creamy consistency very easy to work with um i use this more so um if i'm trying to blend colors and get a spot corrected i don't use this on a daily basis so this is going to last me a while but i definitely recommend this to somebody to try so i definitely buy it try it um it works Okay, sorry, having issues with the light. Um, then to the next product, it's two products, the Studio Bronzers that I have. I have the Cool Bronzer, which is this one here. And I also have the Golden, which is this one here. I feel like the light's too bright, I'm sorry. Um, I really like the Golden Bronzer. It's perfect for my tone. It's a little shimmery, so um, I kind of tend to go away from shimmery bronzers, but this will be perfect in the summertime when I'm trying to achieve a dewy look because it's just perfect for my skin. Um, so I would recommend this bronzer. You get a lot of product. It has a nice big mirror for touch-ups. Just great. This is the cool bronzer. I was actually request. Someone told me that this was a good one to get. So it looks like this. This is the match, the four matte shades. Um, it's a bit dark for my skin tone, I have to say, and it's a lot less pigmented in first swatch than any of the other ones, like the bronzer that the golden bronzer. Um, but this should be a good contour in the summertime. We'll see how it plays out. Um, but like I said, it's too dark for me right now. So I really like this white right here, though. It's a really good highlight, and I'm, I use that on my eyes actually sometimes. So, I mean, I would I would say pick these up and try them for yourself, because I like them, just not for the current time of the year. Okay, the next one is a miss the Miss and Set spray. I was so excited for this. This is three dollars on the Studio line. This is teeny. I hate that it's so small. One, and two, I cannot stand the smell. It's just off-putting. It just doesn't smell good. Maybe I got a bad one. But it also, the spray, like my Fix Plus is like a more misted spray. This is like a little too much. Oh my god. Oh, I don't even know why I sprayed it. Oh. But yeah, the smell is bad. So I would say pass on this. Um, just spend more money and get like an Urban Decay setting spray. Get a mac setting spray just go that route okay then on to brushes i got the studio or the mineral brush kit the ten dollar brush kit you got three brushes and a little bag the bag's buried somewhere but these are mini travel size brushes i like the quality they're very very soft i mean this it comes with a concealer a blending eye and a complexion Concealers, nothing special. It's just a concealer. I have way too many and I'm not going to use one with a short handle over another one. The complexion brush is a better version of the bigger one. I like that this is a little smaller in size, but again, the handle off-putting for me. <sighs> Blending eye brush, love, 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 love. That is not tapered. It's really soft. It's a tad firm, but it blends out so nicely would really love to have the full size of this just haven't gotten it yet but the kit i would say pass on the k 
kit and buy this for five dollars on its own or buy this for five dollars on its own um, because it's not worth to have the small brushes okay and then next is a brush that I can't find oh here it is the angled contoured eye brush this I don't pick up a whole lot it's a very good quality it's soft it's firm it's got a very sharp edge um, and it's it's really nice three bucks you can't beat it and what I use it for when I was using it is under the eye powder to set my concealer or crease if I want something really like dusted out like not very precise but I have a big eyelid too so if you have smaller eyelids this might just be good for like powder around the small areas so okay then on to the tinted moisturizer this is from the studio line this is three dollars it has 0.7 ounces this is the dollar tinted moisturizer bigger obviously um it's about the same coverage for me and it's not as moisturizing as probably some other tinted moisturizers can be but I like it because I need a little more coverage and I would pick this over this honestly because this has a more strong smell one less of a smell in this one this has sleeker packaging um and this also has five more SPF this one has 15 <coughs> excuse me this has five this has 20 I mean <laughs> so for that project um for that um if you try it and see if you like it if you liked this tinted moisturizer I would try the studio line honestly but if you haven't then would I say jump the three dollars and get it that would be your personal preference but that's just my suggestions and then we are off to some more the gel eyeliner was not my friend today in this look you guys will watch the tutorial and you will hear me gripe about it but I love this stuff I am not a <coughs> very good eyeliner applicator but I love this stuff very black um, really hard to get off like you really have to try because I tried to get some of it off over here when I messed up but <coughs> excuse me for three dollars go pick it up I had a horrible time with the wet n wild gel eyeliner it dried out in like a month so definitely try this for three bucks can't beat it um it's creamy like I said it's easy to use I like the brush that comes with it the little tiny angled brush it's a sleek thin line works great definitely buy this try it <coughs> okay the next I'm sorry I'm having a coughing fit the next minty lip gloss you guys saw in my last haul that I found three more of them at the Dollar Tree but I would have paid three dollars for them this one is the one I bought myself Boston on the sale <clears throat> I love the packaging very sleek I love square packaging on lip gloss or just plain generic round packaging these all have high glitter <clears throat> but you can't feel it on your lips it's not chunky glitter they go on very smooth they stay on well for me um they're sheer but I like I enjoy the sheer and the very high shine that it gives so on these definite definite buy hey guys sorry I ran out of room on that memory card sorry if the beginning seemed rushed if you have any questions leave them below and I will answer them um, that I didn't clarify in the part of the review um, the next staying with the lip glosses I do have two elf mineral lip glosses but one of them is in my purse so that's a testament that I do like the product um, one thing that I can say about these is I like the packaging like that's a Mac lip gloss and this is an elf lip gloss it's just a little thicker than the elf one um, but same deal I really like when um, companies do that um, like uh, these are just funky 
I hate these. Like, just make them long and, you know, round, whatever. <coughs> um, but they're not sticky. They have no strong scent. Um, they're, you can op make these more opaque or you can shear them out. Like, that's a more opaque swatch. But I can also shear it out a lot. So, I like that versatility with this product. The only thing that I don't like about the mineral lip gloss is this stopper really keeps a lot of product from coming out so you have to push it in and out a lot of times to get enough product and I was also going to say about the minty lip glosses this is a tingling lip gloss and it will tingle on your lips I really like the feel of this and obviously it smells minty um so I forgot to add that too and this stopper is annoying in this one too so I wish elf would just make it a little less stopper-ish if that makes any sense whatsoever um next is the elf studio conditioning balm i think this is three dollars but if not i will correct myself down below um this is spf 15 and it's a balm i really again like the studio line packaging it's black it's sleek square nice um <coughs> this is opaque i really like the color of this you know you can shear it out like it's it's opaque for a balm let's say you know that's a pretty opaque balm it's not too sticky I mean it's a little more sticky than some of their glosses but I enjoy that thick comforting feeling in a balm and it really does condition my lips and it also has that 15 SPF 15 so it's you know good for your lips in the sun <coughs> I'm sorry um this is a nice and natural, but I hate that it's just a little bulky. Like, this plastic is just a little too much. Um, they could have made it a little smaller packaging-wise. But I would say buy on this. And also buy on the mineral lip glosses. <laughs> um, then next is the Dollar Line Lipstick. <clears throat> I have Seductive, which is a very pretty darker red. Like a kind of a rosy red. I don't like this. This stuff doesn't go on very smooth. It's a little waxy for me. Um, I think they just don't have the formulation right with these. Um, even though it's a dollar, I would say pass on these. Because um, it's just not anything great. You can definitely find better lip gloss or, you know, lipstick elsewhere for lower price, like low prices. Um, Next to a couple eye products, <clears throat> the e.l.f. Brightening Eye Color Quad. I have a lot of colors of these. I didn't get them all out. This first one's in Butternut. The more neutral colors are a little less pigmented, but these are really pigmented shadows for being a dollar. And they have really good color combinations. Um, they blend easily. Um, and they're very easy, like, to have a look on the go, throw this in a bag, and you have a look in a little palette here. This is one of my favorite color selections, is the Butternut. This is one of more my favorite, uh, ones, because it's a great neutral look. Also, another one of my favorites, another one of my favorites is the Drama Quad, which is the best black and grays with a white as well. Such a great value for a dollar. <clears throat> and then another favorite that has been a long time favorite is the Punk Funk. Such bright, fun colors. Very pigmented. Like, it's gorgeous. Definitely nice to have. And then one of my newer favorites, which I just got from my Cyber Monday but it's got gorgeous gorgeous shades and they work splendidly is the day to night which has a beige look at how pigmented that is they really changed the formulation they messed up with these lighter shades but i mean look at how pigmented those are nuts and it's gorgeous I just love these colors they really 
have got a great product in these. And I got this one out as well because I will show you on um, one of the older ones. Or like on one of the more neutral. It's a little less pigmented but this is ethereal. And this is a very, very neutral like toned down quad. But I mean they're still better than a lot of dollar shadows. I'll tell you that. But I would definitely again and again say buy these um i have more colors that i still want to pick up of them <clears throat> and i would definitely definitely tell you guys to go buy them the next is the set of three liquid eyeliners that i got um came with black silver and plum i think this is the regular packaging of their liquid eyeliners i'll do that one too I don't know if it's the packaging of these or if they change the formula, but they are streaky. They take a long time to dry <coughs> and they're just not very precise with their lines. Like it just is not a good, not good, <laughs> not a good, it's not good. Yeah, this is just, it's a shame. I really like their liquid eyeliner pens. I like the black one's a little better, but nothing spectacular. Like, they're still not dry. And the gray's a little better. Like, I think it's... <laughs> Sorry, again, I ran out of more space on the memory card. I only have one HD memory card, and every one of them, like, it's like I get five minutes per memory card. But And I was telling you guys that these don't dry, and I changed my memory card, and they're still not dry. Like, that silver is terrible definitely definitely pass they have a nice like staying power but i would definitely recommend the pens over these but <laughs> i hope this review wasn't too long for you guys i know it's ridiculous abby stop making long freaking videos but um i wanted to get it all in there and just do this because it's been a long time coming but hope you guys enjoyed leave comments below if you have any questions Leave them. <laughs> I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.